Welcome to week 16 of 52 Weeks of Storytelling. If you haven't watched the last video, please make sure you go check it out. This week is all about something scary. It can be something super duper scary or like slightly scary or something that happened when someone scared you and really anything that has to do with being scared. If this is a prompt you want to skip, feel free to skip it and go check out one of the other videos in the series. With that, I want to tell you what 52 Weeks of Storytelling actually is. 52 Weeks of Storytelling is a video series that drops across 40, 52 weeks. Once we get through the 52 weeks, it'll be available as a purchase purchasable <laughs> opportunity inside my course platform. And additionally, you'll still be able to find all of the videos for free on YouTube. And it's just my way of helping people have storytelling conversations, create storytelling moments, and really start engaging conversations around topics that you wouldn't normally start conversations around, which leads to some very epic stories. I want to let you know that there is a journal that goes along with this video series. You can check out the links in the description. There's one to go to Etsy. It's a PDF printable. And then the Amazon link will take you to a the Amazon link will take you to a printed journal. Printable, printed, printable, printed. I get those mixed up every time I try to like flip flop them and it takes my brain too long to think about it. So don't forget to grab the journal. It's pretty awesome. It follows along the a, with the exact layout of the video series um, page by page, episode by episode. With that, the legacy storytelling method is how we go through the storytelling process. It is a series of prompts specially crafted and organized to help you create a story of your life and write one page of your story. We start with the five W's, five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. Why is usually the one that gets people tripped up. It's when I think about it, it's when what happens how did you get to the moment? How did you get to this memory? What was happening? Why did this moment happen? And then the last three questions have to do with feelings, impact, and what you want people to remember about this moment. So we're really looking at, did this memory change the trajectory of your life? Did it impact you in some way? How did you feel about it in the moment? How do you feel about it now? And then what do you want people to remember about this moment? This last question really gives you an opportunity to think critically about the moment or memory you're sharing or writing about. And it really starts you thinking about that legacy part. The intro to the weekly writing prompt, I want to let you know that being scared of stuff is totally fine. Fear is cool. Fear helps us grow, of course, contextually, depending on the situation. So when you're thinking about your scary moment, I, I mean, it could be like something that happened at Halloween. It could be really anything like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I personally have been having a hard time coming up with an example to share. Um, I think I have one. So I'll just jump into that. So I'm going to share the story example and that you can think about and listen to how the words flow as I explain my story example. So I'm going to share with you a moment when I was scared. So I, um, so I'm still sitting here thinking, like I'm trying to pick the right one because, you know, I want it to be the right one. Not too big, not too small, but just right. Um, <laughs> I really had one picked already. So let's start, let's do travel. Travel was a big thing in, um, in my life growing up. And I took my first solo airplane ride um, as a as a small human. I don't remember exactly how old I was. And um, my mom and I have gone back and forth about how old I actually was. Um, but I got to fly to either to my great aunt and great uncles in St. George, Utah, or home from there. And I can't remember which direction it was. But it was really, really neat. It was my first solo flight. Um, at the time, I was young enough, and they still had um, people, uh, the attendee, um, or the flight attendant would like sort of care for you a little bit. I do remember there being like a cool badge thing, like I had a, like a big name tag. Um, but as excited as I was, I was definitely a little scared. Um, I had flown before, but flying by myself was like a whole new adventure. And in that like in that scaredness, 
and that scariness. I was still so excited. Um, and yeah, so the who was obviously me and the flight attendant. I made like best friends. I got to sit someone, sit next to someone. We had a great conversation from what I remember, um, at least from my perspective. I don't know how they felt about it. Um, but it was uh, the what is that it was a plane trip, my first plane trip by myself. And when I can't remember when exactly the where was Phoenix to St. George, Utah. And um, and the why was because they on one side, I think we were already up there. And so I got invited to stay longer. Um, and so then I had to fly home because my mom was working and all these other things. So I had a ride there. We drove up as a family and then I think I got to stay extra and, and then I flew home and that was really, really cool. Um, and so I just want to point out something that just happened. So do you remember when I was telling you at the very beginning of that story example that I didn't remember why? By the time I worked through who, what, when, where, I figured out what the why was. I remembered. This is why the legacy storytelling method is laid out the way it is. Usually once we get through those components and we talk through those things, we find the rest of the answers. And we find answers we didn't know we remembered. So that's why it's important to follow um, at least sort of follow the guidelines. Um, for the last three questions for me, I it really instilled in me a love of solo traveling, I think. I enjoyed the adventure of meeting someone new, of being on the airplane by myself, of, um, you know, the whole getting on the airplane. Um, I just remember loving all of it. And that has bled over into how I, how I travel and how I encourage my kids to travel, um, which has been really, really cool. So what I want people to remember about this moment is that it's okay to be scared. It's okay to try something new and it's okay to let the small humans in your care try stuff that is new. With that, I hope this has helped you come up with a way to share that was something that was scary for you. I wholeheartedly encourage you to share it with someone you love and with someone who loves you. I hope that this has helped you write some part of your story. Don't forget to check back for more, check the playlist, and grab your journals. With that, I hope you have an incredibly wonderful day. And until we talk again, happy writing.